Hey guys, what is going on? So today I want to go over ahead and go over Game of Dice's brand new overall update. Um, they have implemented two new goods that work well with the new map that they included, which has a moving map. It's actually pretty cool. So if you're interested in that, feel free to check out my new video, and I'll be also going over that. Uh, second of all, you get a thousand free gems, and what's not uh, to hate about free currency, right? Uh, second of all, you get a character, Hong Kong Alice II, which has a pretty solid Joker. Um, it gives you plus eight or times eight hundred percent to your city's tolls for two turns. It's awesome because it helps you get rid of maybe if you have a card like Berserk in your deck, you don't really necessarily maybe need that now. So it's a solid um, piece for it. Um, it kind of goes, it kind of beats Refia's actually, honestly. I'm a big Refia fan, I like her, I think she's a cool character, uh, but I might actually end up switching to Hong Kong Alice. Uh, third off, you get this new special shop, which gives you $300 worth of bonus packages that you yourself choose. You only get three, and you have to choose out of, I believe it's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight choices. One allows you to get uh, Hong Kong Alice up to six star. You get an Infinity Soul Selector for free. Or a good, a six star good Catalyst Selector of the ten top goods. You can get a Skill Enhance Package. A still Skill Transcend Package. A Goods Transcend Package. A Character Enhance Package. And a Goods Enhance Package. Honestly, the last two, I wouldn't recommend. If you're just starting into this game, these two, you can pretty much get through daily missions here and there. Gold, if you just wait, you just give yourself a month of collecting the free stuff you get through the dailies, the daily draws, your games, you'll have enough gold to go about. So, I would highly recommend, if you're just starting, get the Hong Kong Al Alice upgrade pack. If you haven't invested into a character yet, that's the way to go. Infinity Soul Selector is great if you've been playing a little bit. You got some black skill cards that you can actually utilize here. Go ahead and grab that. Six star catalyst selector. If you have the ten dollar goods selector, five star goods selector, um, <clears throat> captivating per perfume is one of those. So you might be interested in that. Um, the skill enhance package, nice if you need it. I think this one's the most like best and package deal for you um, if you're looking to enhance things and make things better that are the goods to transcend um, just to give you that free boost because it's kind of hard now to get those abyss crystals when they first premiered it was a little easier and now it's a little not so much um, and so that's our big ones now lastly I'm gonna go ahead and get to this shop we do have where you can get a six star gold Hong Kong Alice for 3,000 gems. If that's your kind of thing, go for it. We also get the Essence of Transcendence uh, little package there, as well as II package for 700 topaz. This one right here might be worth it for some of you guys who have a, a topaz to spend. Abyss Crystal, 500 topaz, once again, might be worth it. Um, it's definitely something to look into. Uh, now lastly, I want to go ahead and show you guys, th these are the two new goods, the Golden Holy Grail and the Ancient King's Ring packages. They give you the four star, um, good, and, uh, for ten bucks, which isn't bad, but once again, you'd have to go ahead and mine for the rest of it. So, if you're not gonna go ahead and invest currency, like diamonds and topaz into getting this guy up to a five, six star, don't go for it. Because gonna lose out on it in the, for, in the long run but definitely something to look into definitely something if you're gonna keep on this seasons after the, that map comes down as the limited premiere map go for it anyways those are the big major updates that they had here uh, they continued the uh, card selector uh, from last month and uh, that's about it uh, they got the uh, World Clash that's also opened up, which is, gonna, is really exciting for those of you who want to play this competitively. I'll go over that in a separate video, a little bit more in depth. But as for that, that's the major do-goodies about this update. Also, keep in mind, guys, that you do have your diamond for the update. The uh, diamond daily missions. You can uh, 
do these ra a lot of them rather easily where you could probably at least garner I'd say 500 gems keep an eye out on that go ahead and get that and um, that's about it thanks for watching guys and carpool signing off